Mercy Girls 5K. Go Jane! We go Reagan!
get towards this lunch hour, there are some options for you right here. And our leader has come down top of the lane now for the first time. Go, Jane! All right, for all our runners uh, who had the run here, you leave in the baskets, let's go, let's go, let's go. and you come back and come again. Sometimes it's easier to sometimes you pick up the wrong gear, and if you realize you have the wrong warm-up gear, uh, bring it. Uh, you can bring it here at the uh, timing uh, tent, or you can take it to the roads area, and it will be announced announced here. Let's go, Let's go, also, Please, please leave the Bob Furman flagging. Uh, please don't tear the flagging down. We have that happening in several places. Please just wait. Let's go, Ashley! Let's go, Ashley! You got Ashley Lane hard! Let's go, Ashley! But thank you for uh, taking care of that. We appreciate it. Go, Pilene! Go, Jay! No go, no buggy, she passed the buggy. <laughs> nice, Jane. Okay, good, Jane. Hey, great work, Jane. Let's close it out now. Have fun, Jane, you look great, have Close fun. it out, here we go. We love you. Good job, Jane. Let's go, Jane! Fish it out! You got it, Jane! Let's go, Jane! And our leader is coming down top of the lane for the second and final time. Seventeen twenty-five eight. Woo! Seventeen twenty-five. Nice work, Jane. Coming across second there, that was Neela Roberts from Skyline of Idaho. Jane, good work. And then that's Reagan Peterson of Timpanogo is coming in third. And Samantha Smith of Boise coming in that fourth position. With over 140 runners in this race, there's still a lot to cross the finish line. Let's make sure to cheer them all in. there with 
Kelly Gaffney of Great Oak. And then Emily Simison from Springville in that sixth position. Devin Page Rose of Corner Canyon. Eight, Sienna Barton of Bonneville of Ogden. And nine, Courtney Matson of Corner Canyon. And tenth, Allie Bruce of Boise. position is the team from Boise with two top ten finishers with a finisher in fourth and ten. Talk. <laughs> oh man. That's how it was like after the race. Yeah. There's one of our road here. runners right Carson there. Boys Woo! And this that was is the awesome. Final call for the Elite <laughs> yes. Boys 5K. That was awesome. How was the course? Final call, Elite yeah. Varsity Boys 5K. You run it before? You okay. should be at the start line so, at this time. Yeah, this is a pretty brutal course. I mean, there's like sand, there's gravel, there's hills, there's mud pits. Yeah, so. That's good. Good job. Nice work. All right. Nice work, Jane. Okay, Reagan, gutsy race yeah. out there. He finished third overall. Okay, you and Jane took it from the start. Tell me what was going through your mind at the start. Um, I was just like, I wanted to gap as many people as I could and kind of try to separate the packs. And I was like, I'm going to stick with Jane. And I knew it's easier to run next to people. I've always been better if I'm like next to them instead of behind them. So I kept trying to run next to her and she just kept going fast. I was like, Jane, wait up for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I heard 524 first mile for that yeah. lead pack. Were you, where, did, where did you start getting gapped? Um, I was like... It kind of showed me gapped a little bit, like probably by like five meters, five, ten meters the whole time. Uh -huh. um, and it was probably about a mile and a half that she really like gapped me, but I couldn't really see her yeah, in the yeah. distance. Hey, good job. That, you went out super hard, super gutsy. Uh, tell me, like, you've run this before. Okay, tell me how this compared to other times. Oh, this is the first time. Yeah. Okay, first time well, on I the course. I have like no idea. I ran it yesterday right, and I like hated it because the ground is so bad. It's kind of scary. Yeah. I think she kind of gapped me in that mile and a half because I hit that sand and it kind of just took everything out of my legs and I yeah. like, wasn't expecting the that. The beach is brutal. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think my coach is like, stick up next to the flags on like the dry part. And I did that the first time and I don't think that was the best idea. So I went down on the dry the second time. Yeah. Or the wet the second time. What was your time? Uh, 17.55. Oh, okay, that's good. I'm excited I finally broke 18. Yeah. I was kind of hoping for a little bit faster and it felt faster, yeah. but I'll take it. Yeah, we well, said you hit that first uh, fast, fast mile, and then you just held on to it, had a great performance today. I mean, did really well. So, awesome work, Reagan. Thank you. Okay, way to represent. <laughs> All right. 
at the Boys Elite is just taking off. There they go. All right, Jane, good job today. So today, uh, for seven, 17.24 was your time. Uh, 17.31 was the meet record. 16.50 is the course record for women. Tell me what was going through your mind at the start of this thing. Yeah, so I was, my plan was not to be that aggressive from the gun. Um, I was just kind of like, you know, trying to get my hands off and I was just kind of like, you know, trying to get my hands off. I was just kind of like, you know, trying to get my hands off. I was not, that was not my plan from along, but I adapted, um, and I came through really fast. It was like a 524, which is what I, what I should have been, like three, um, I just took a break. So I'm just getting back into shape, and the 524 should have been like, oh yeah, like that's my pace, whatever. But right now it's not, just it's, I've lost quite a bit of fitness, so we're getting back into it. And we're going to be able to hold that 520 and our leader group just Getting back into time. it, number yes. eight all time on this course. That sounds like a nice getting back into it. Tell me about uh, Reagan. She was up there with you for the first mile. She could. St she was still in contact with you right through a mile and a half. You guys are good friends. Pack. What did it mean to you to have her out there with you? It meant so much. It's just, it's just awesome. I can come down to this Idaho meet. And I see all these girls from Utah that I love like so dearly. Um, Reagan, love her with my whole heart. She's the best. Um, one of my closest friends. And it was just awesome. She killed it today. Now she looked so strong. So, so proud of her. Okay. What did you think about the course? It was good. I loved it. It was a good switch up. Um, I liked the I liked the beach part. I liked um, running on the sand and the forest. It was, it was just fun. It was really um, a variety of a variety of different um, grounds, different slopes. So okay. Now, uh, Reagan said, or no, Savannah Galbraith said that the beach just took it out of her. Yeah. You know the so, energy and so everything. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about that. Like, did you, how did you approach the beach? From fifth yeah, to so first I was. To the race I just had to keep momentum. Um, meter and mark. just keep my speed up. Even after the beach, it honestly just took it out of your legs. So when I was coming around for the beach the second time, I was like, okay, I really just got to push through. That was honestly probably the hardest part of the course, along with some of the crazy turns. There was, there was a 180 at one point. In, I, I look so dumb. Like the camera that was on the, they were probably just like, what is this girl doing? Because I, I took it so wide. Like yeah. I, it was so bad. But Did not cut the it lines. Just, yeah. It was just a fun course. It's very different. So. Very, is it challenging? Would you, how would you rate it? Uh, one to 10 challenging. Um, I'd say it was a solid like seven or eight. It was pretty hard. Yeah. Um, just like, it was just different. I don't know. Uneven ground, sand, gravel. Branches, hills, mud pits. What else was there? Um, yeah, that's about it. But, um, <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was just crazy. Just even this, um, the gravel. It was just kind of took it out of you, and the yeah. dirt and stuff. And so when I got did get back on grass, I was like, oh, this, like this is awesome. So it's very different, but and not what I'm used to. It was so good. Okay, you ran a 17:10 earlier this year at altitude, but that was a three mile. Here, 1724, which is technically faster than that 1710. Uh, what's next? Um, we'll see. Just gonna keep doing the things I can control, keep it fun with training, um, keep relationships with food, coaches, um, all of it, just good. Keep working hard, and those times will come, those goals, qualifying for bigger meets, uh, just doing the things I can control, and not about, Our not leaders about across the two else. mile mark. Okay, well, Still congratulations, Jane. You did great today. Lisa Wood, Lisa A. Wood. We have something here with the timing tent. We also have a uh, wrist timer, a nice wrist match, and we have a set of keys and some eyeglasses. So, uh, Lisa Wood, we have something very important for you here with the timing tent. Our leader is on Poplar Lane for the second and final time. That's 
Randy and the D-Meyer that was out in front with 500. To get this lead. So that's Landon Hemeyer from Rocky Mountain. And with a strong finish there was Weston Brown from Bozeman moving into that second position just before the finish line. And then that Sam Hansen from Woods Creek. I want to thank you as uh, we asked There's a few Bob of you Furman to step himself. away while he was doing some autographs and pictures so you'd have enough time to eat. He is here all day long, and if you missed out on that autograph and picture. After all right, Easton, how did it go today? So we're pretty good. 19th minutes, so place wait. overall in the varsity one. Yes. You're a junior this year. I am. Okay, good job. So how did how was the course today? It was pretty good. It's pretty uneven at the start, but yeah, it's a good course. I that was like some it. of the toughest part, the unevenness. Uh, the toughest part was probably the sand right before the hill because, well, the hill, but the sand tired you out right before the hill. Yeah. And running up, it was hard. So. Okay. One of our former road runners competed at nationals multiple times and uh, did great. So we're glad Easton and Jane ran together. Uh, I think you guys uh, first ran kind of the same meet at the Roadrunner Invitational quite a few years ago. So that was kind of a fun event. Uh, Park. Yeah, that's right. All started there. That was it. So, okay, well, good job. Good to see you, Easton. All right, thanks. All right, we've got Savannah in 16th place there. Former Roadrunner. We've got uh, a lot of Utah represented here on the podium. This is the Elite Girls. Bob Furman himself is handing Marina out Rinna the awards Skyline over here. Our next name gets a little cut off. Um, I have Leah, but I, there may be more to that. So Leah Bell Salander from Brighton, 11th place. Okay, it was Leah. In 10th place, we have Allie Bruce from Boise. In ninth place, Courtney Matson from Corner Canyon. From Bonneville in Utah, eighth place goes to Sienna Barton. Again from Corner Canyon, in seventh place, Paige Rhodes. Next, we have Emily Sumption in sixth place from Springville. Fifth place goes to Kelly Gaffney from Great Oak. In fourth place, Samantha Smith from Boise. And I think she maybe did had to leave if we don't see her. All right. In third place, uh, Reagan Peterson from Tippanoga. From Skyline in Idaho, Neela Roberts, second place. And our first place competitor today in the girls elite race with a time of 17 minutes 25.8 seconds we have jane hendrick hennigren from tipview and i understand jane's birthday was yesterday so happy birthday to her as well so congratulations jane and all of our elite runners uh, it was a fantastic race today we're glad you're here We'll be moving on to our team awards for the elite race. And just a reminder, elite boys goes at 115. We should have a little break right in between so you can get some more photos.
Okay, you're so cute. Okay, that record's coming down. <laughs> <laughs>